Hello, and welcome back to Okta Support video series. Today we will show how to exclude users from multi-factor authentication challenge. This is helpful for service accounts or cases where users are unable to provide any other form of authentication apart from a password. First, we will show our test user that after providing his password, he has been challenged to set up Okta Verify as a multi-factor authentication method. The easiest method to bypass multi-factor authentication is to create an exclusion group that will be used in all the policies they require to bypass multi-factor authentication. First, we create the group that we can name Bypass MFA, for example, then assign the users we wish to bypass multi-factor authentication. This can be done manually or based on a rule. With the group created, we need to create rules in the global session policy, authentication policy, or enrollment policy, depending on which policy rule is challenging the users for MFA. In this video, we will go over all three scenarios. The current global session policy that applies to that group has a rule that is set with multi-factor authentication being required. We will need to create a new policy for our bypass MFA group and specify in the rule that multi-factor authentication is not required. Please make the newly created policy as priority one. If the current authentication policy rule for the application the user is trying to access is set to require multi-factor authentication, we will need to create a new one that will specify if the user is part of the Bypass MFA group, they can authenticate with only their password. Please make the newly created rule as priority one. If the current enrollment policy that applies to that group has any factors apart from the password set as required that will force the user to set up that factor. To prevent that, we will create a new enrollment policy for the Bypass MFA group and specify that only a password is required and have the rule set to enrollment is allowed. Please make the newly created rule as priority one. Now we can show again our test user with the new rules in place. After providing their password, the user is allowed to log in into the Okta dashboard. Thank you for watching. For more Okta support videos, check out the Okta support playlist right here on the Okta YouTube channel.